Are you looking to escape, start over, and build your own world? Well, jumping into your own creative futuresque world is easy and more fun than any other motion graphic project. So today, let's become true 3D artists and harness the unlimited power of After Effects. To be honest, if last year you asked me if creating something like this in After Effects is feasible, I'd probably say not so much. And the reason why is because most of these elements are actually 3D. And I'm not saying I want After Effects to become a fully fledged 3D software, but I really love pushing the possibilities of what could be created. Okay, for our first step, we need to create a central object to be in the middle of our scene. So let's create this beam of light and circle, which could be a sci-fi elevator. Since everything's going to be 3D, be sure to set the 3D renderer for your project to Cinema 4D. Now, with the ellipse tool, you can create a perfect dark circle and set it to be only a stroke by turning off the fill. Make sure it's all centered up in your project as well. We'll then make the layer 3D and go straight to extrusion depth. And then we can increase the amount to whatever works for you, but I'll use 35. And then when you rotate this layer by 90 degrees, it is now clear we have a 3D donut. Flat donut, but you know, tasty. Now, since we're going for an outline Tron styled look, uh, we need to set up the bevel style to be convex and we can set the bevel depth to three. So now here's the important part. We need to click on the shape here in the shape layer and go to add bevel color, then set the color to white. And this will give us a partially decent stroke around our object, uh, though not perfect. We'll refine this outline here shortly. All right, so since this is a 3D object with an opening here in the center, uh, we can place objects in between the circle. Uh, so to create a beam of light, go ahead and create a long, thin rectangle uh, like so. And literally the X size should be 10 or less because we need a thin rectangle. As before, make it 3D and go to geometry options. Set the extrusion to 10. And now let's go to two views here and set the right view to top. The top view is going to be our best friend when it comes to 3D. So by adjusting the position of the beam, we can perfectly center it inside of our tasty donut. And since I want this to be a Tron style future scene, let's animate the Y position of the circle to elevate up. Beautiful. This is coming together. Now, before we build out more objects, let's go ahead and stylize this scene immediately to keep everyone interested. So pre-compose everything and we'll call it world done. Uh, and to help with the outline, right click the composition, go to layer styles and add stroke. And then of course, set that color to white and perfect. And before we apply some really awesome effects, go ahead and create a dark gray background. This way our effects will stand out. Uh, when ready, create an adjustment layer and apply the glow effect. All we have to do with this is increase the glow radius to about 50, then duplicate the effect and set the glow radius to max, which is 1000. Then I'll click the stopwatch and we'll use the wiggle 2 comma 200 expression. And when done, this will create an awesome lighting flickering effect across your entire scene. And now for your VFX lovers, here's some optional effects. Apply noise and posterize. And then slightly adjust these settings to stylize your scene. And up to this point, everything I say has been pretty easy. And expanding on this project with buildings and other graphics as well, also really easy. So let's talk about adding in more graphics. But before we move on, I just wanted to mention that we have a 100 free template pack that you should absolutely get your hands on for After Effects. And if you ever need to save time, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. Okay, back in it. Let's go into our previous composition and start building a larger scene. To create a building, just draw out a large rectangle. Uh, then we can create a new but much smaller square inside of that same shape layer. You can then add a repeater to that small window or square, and then you can increase the number of copies and adjust the repeater X position to lay out everything evenly. We can then apply another repeater, adjust the copies and the Y position to finish the design of windows here. And when your window's ready, make sure the base of the building is on top of the windows and go to add merge paths, then set the mode to subtract. And as we did with our donut, make the layer 3D, increase the extrusion depth and be sure to create a group, then place everything inside of that group. So then you can go to bevel color and set the color to white. Now, when using the top view, 
uh, we can rotate the building and place it nicely off to the side here uh, in Z-Space with the positioning controls. Then to add detail while saving time because I'm lazy, duplicate the building several times and position it to every corner of the project like so. But feel free to design this in any way you like. For example, I also added two more 3D rectangles with no windows in the background to be considered as floating roads, if you will. I don't know. Uh, but you know what the scene needs? A tank. Seriously, we need a tank. So since our theme is outlines, we can easily create simple shapes with a white stroke uh, to create a conceptual car or tank or whatever you like. Uh, but you can tank me later for this technique. Now that you've hit the dislike button, it's super easy to animate 2D objects into your scene. So make it 3D and then you can push it back in Z space with the position. And as we animate the position of the tank to move across our project on top of the road, uh, we can see that motion path. So that's helpful. Feel free to take these concepts and expand on your design. However, for the finishing touch, the most important part of this tutorial is the camera movement. So create a camera, add a keyframe for position and point of interest. Then by using the dolly camera tool, you can zoom into your scene. You know, that looks great. However, you can create a null object, make it 3D and parent the camera to the null. And then we can animate the rotation values of the null object to rotate the null, which in turn will vary the movement of the overall animation. And for the final tip, you can use the tint effect in your master composition to change the color of the scene with ease. So subscribe if you want to be the best and always be creating.